Hi, I'm Wes with Noria. We're on a mission to make the world better through lubrication excellence. One of the most common contaminants that we find in motor oils is antifreeze. Now, of course, we know where antifreeze is in the motor. It's generally around the cooling system, and it can find our way into the motor oil in a variety of different ways. It could be due to cracked head gaskets or bad intake manifolds, or maybe someone topped up the motor oil from the wrong container and accidentally put antifreeze in it. At any rate, once we get antifreeze inside the motor oil, it's going to attack that oil in several different ways. One of the first ways that it actually attacks is that it increases the viscosity of that motor oil. So of course viscosity being the most important physical property of the lubricant, when we increase that, now we're not able to flow or to lubricate properly. So we're going to start causing wear and other, uh, other bad side effects from that. It can also get in there and increase the acidity of that oil. So as we increase the acidity or the acid number goes up, what's going on is we are corroding some of those softer metals that can be found in a lot of our motors. And one of the worst things that can happen is the formation of what are known as oil balls. Now this happens when the detergent reacts within some of the, uh, the motor oil with the antifreeze and it forms these hard precipitates called oil balls. Now these are incredibly hard and incredibly abrasive so when you start getting into some of your smaller tolerances and smaller film thicknesses inside that motor oil, now it's going to start causing some mechanical wear due to this solid particle. Now there's a lot of things that can go on with motor oils and to learn more about some of the common contaminants and how to avoid this, please visit us at machinerylubrication.com.